Hi guys, welcome back to a very new Minecraft video, and, and this is the 8th part of me making my friend's dream clubhouse. So, for this part, we're just going to make all the rest of the vaults for these parts, and then we're going to work on the aquarium a little bit. So the only change I made from this part to last part is I replaced the grass with sand, so we can get started with the aquarium easier. So, we're going to start, start with the crafts room. For this room, let me see what block we should use. I sort of like the cyan choker box, so we'll just use that. And the pattern I'm using is two of that. Let me just get rid of these. It's two layers of the unique block, then one layer for the fourth block, and then five layers of like concrete. So I'll be back when I'm done with all that. Alright, so this is what the craft room looks like. To me it looks really good, matches with the floor pretty well. Then we're going to do the sewing room, which is pretty small. But for this one, I'm just going to do the exact same thing, except I'm going to use the orange shulker box. And I'll be back with you when I'm done with that. Alright, so now this is the sewing room. So it looks just like the craft room, except it's orange. Now we're done with this section. Then we have to go over here and do the certain quarters and then we are done with making the wall. So over here is the pet room. What color do pets like? I just, I'm going to search that up actually. Alright, so I just searched it up. It looks like the color that dogs can see the best are blue and yellow, so that's what I'm going to do. So... I'm going to do a combination of yellow and blue glazed terracotta, specifically light blue. And what I'm going to do is do like one section like that, and then another section. This one I'm going to do a little differently. So I'm just, so I'm going to build up the unique blocks to layers more. Alright, so this is what the room looks like now. I think it looks pretty aesthetic, pretty good. And I'm just going to put my throw quartz block and my light concrete. Alright, so now I have that done, it looks like this. Then we're just going to go into the bathroom. Or two bathrooms actually, because those are the last two. And then we have to do the seven quarters. For the pet room, I'm going to do gold. And then for the other bathroom, I'll do... I don't think I've used emerald yet. I'm going to do a quick check. Alright, so I not use emerald yet. So, pet room gold, this um, pet bathroom gold, this one emerald. Alright, so this is the pet bathroom. And this is the emerald bathroom. Now that we're done with that, we have to do this. this. Alright. So I'm not sure if we are going to do the, um, the start the aquarium yet, but we'll see. So for the certain quarters, I'm going to do this frog light right here. Then for the bathroom, I'll do this frog light, because I already used the purple one. Alright, so this is the servant quarters. To me, it looks really good, especially with the quartz as the, as the um, floor. And then over here, the bathroom looks really good. Now, let's go to the other side of the house. Like this. And this will be our indoor pool. So, let me just pull up something. Alright, so for this indoor pool, they have this sort of archway, which I think is pretty cool. This separates the pool from like the seating area. So I wanted the pool to be over here and the seating area over here when you walk in. And I really like that idea. And for the walls of this indoor pool, it shows blue. So I should do something blue. I would do prismarine, but I already did that. I'm going to do cyan. And in this part, I'm also going to add the arcs as well. So, I'll do the exact same thing as all the other walls. Alright, 
so this is what it looks like. I did a quick change. I didn't like the cyan concrete too much, and I wanted to save the concretes for when we do the bedroom. So I changed it to diamond blocks, and I think it looks really good. So I'm going to be putting windows in all three sides of for now, but I want to work on is the arc. So I'd say around here. I'm going to be doing the arc. is a bit weird and it looks it doesn't exact, exactly look like an arc but it looks all right hmm. what would you do okay that just looks like a plain triangle now picture just those pillars and then a small arc so maybe that's what i should do instead of making a whole wall so let me just destroy all this all right so the pillars i'm going to do i'm going to use pillar quartz block all the way Better if I match the wall more than so. Alright, then I'm gonna take some smooth port stairs and just make it a bit more curvy. So it looks like that. Yeah, I think I like this part, so I'm just gonna continue. Alright, so I finally made the arc. Sorry that took so long. But here it is. I just since it didn't match up perfectly, I decided to make the middle one five. So we have the arcs, this will be a sitting here, this will be the pool, and I finally done with that. And because I've been recording for so long now, we're, going, we're not going to do the aquarium, but I want to finish all the walls, so I am going to do the garage. So, I'm going to use smooth stone for this one, and then after I finish this, we'll, I'll do the outro. Alright, so I'm finally done with this gigantic garage. And now, since that's all done, we have finished all of the walls for the first floor. This is a major milestone, considering the fact the first floor, all we did was a floor plan. So, this all looks really good, and almost all, all of them have different wallpapers and floors. So that is it for this video. I'm sorry we couldn't get to the aquarium, but I can't record for hours upon hours for you guys. But that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this part because I have definitely enjoyed it. And I hope you all have a safe and wonderful day. Bye!